colleagues. Uh, I'm uh, working at the Beijing End Hospital Heart Failure Center. Um, I will introduce a HERO study, which is conducted at Henan province. Uh, as my uh, boss, Dr. Dong, uh, also work at Henan province. Um, oh, we have already known uh, the prevalence of heart failure in China. This is uh, conducted uh, through uh, five provinces uh, with involving uh, 50 million individuals. And the uh, estimate is that we uh, have 1.1 prevalence uh, heart failure in patients. And uh, uh, because we have a large population, both China and India, so 1.1 prevalence will tra translate into 12 million patients in this country. And uh, also high incidence of, of cases with uh, um, uh, each year 3 million new cases. Uh, of heart failure patients, so we uh, must uh, take action to um, give better uh, care for those large population. Um, <clears throat> the HERO study you know, is to determine the profile management and 12 months outcome of patients um, admitted to hospital uh, with acute heart failure uh, across different level of hospitals in, in Henan province. Henan is located here in, in, in China, and um, we all believe our north population are all originated from Henan province, and uh, uh, is a very uh, representative of north China population. Um, is economic status also on average of the country. Um, in that province, there are 18 cities and 105 counties. Uh, there are um, eight provincial and uh, 22 municipal and uh, 43 county hospital participate in the HERO study. And, um, <coughs> in, in that study, we, uh, uh, the character of the participating centers um, um, it vary a lot from the provincial hospital, the highest level of uh, of, um, uh, of of care, uh, because they uh, take care of the uh, referral patients. And the county hospital, like uh, county hospital, take care of local population, usually uh, um, five hundred thousand or ten hundred thousand population. And uh, the hospital um, size varied a lot. Uh, with a uh, uh, majority of them, um, hundred of them, hundred percent of them have measurement of BNP or anti-BNP, and uh, they uh, got uh, eight to twenty-five CCO beds. Um, they um, the the provincial hospital uh, majority of them can perform CRT or ICD impl implementation, and the uh, minor minority of county hospital can do that procedure. So you can see the variation of, of the hospitals. The data collection of a uh, HERO study, <coughs> uh, we try to design a rigorous um, uh, data collection, collection method to avoid uh, any uh, bias by patient, selec uh, patient selection bias. Um, so data collection will happen uh, in randomly selected two weeks in each season. Um, because in in the north in China in in the, especially north China, in the winter is cold and uh, um, for high failure patient uh, admission for high failure patient will increase dramatically and uh, the workload in the hospital will increase. So to avoid this, any impact of the workload, um, prop, the workload of the hospital, we uh, choose uh, randomly. Uh, two weeks in each season to collect uh, consecutive data. Um, <clears throat> we have a patient log to make sure uh, each patient, each hospital collect uh, all those patients, uh, all their patients admitted with uh, heart failure uh, with a primary diagnosis. And we collect a social demonstrated character medical history and the diagnosis results. Uh, we also collect um, quality of life uh, and for those who who consent to be followed up, uh, we ask uh, um, 
them to to sign a con consent uh, uh, form, and for those who do not consent to 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 be followed, uh, we collect the identified data without any follow up. So um, <laughs> that's approved by ASIC committee uh, in the local hospitals. <clears throat> And patient character, we, we stratify them by their BNP level. Uh, we in total we got 5,600 uh, 5, uh, patients, and uh, among them, uh, about uh, um, about thirty percent of of patients have a BNP level normal or unavailable. This is um, mm, uh, some some kind of st strange because. We, if we do not, usually we say heart failure patients, we always say BNP level mm, urban normal. But, um, mm, you know, also, mm, also all the hospitals can measure BNP, there are still a lot of patients do not have the measurement. That's, um, we, we just uh, talked about biomarkers to detect the patients earlier, but, uh, you know, even patients hospitalized, we do not have their biomarkers. That's, uh, uh, quality index and um, <clears throat> for those with elevated BNP levels we stratify them by uh, LVEF and uh, among those uh, around 4,000 4, patients there are 40 of the, forty percent of them do not have LVEF measured so that's a big issue that we, we, we do not maybe um, they measured it but not documented in the chart uh, so uh, at least we have no available data when we when we uh, go there for collecting it. Um, uh, for for those we do have do have a LVEF, and um, only a uh, only uh, uh, a six hundred sixty eight patients got a, a LVEF. More much more patients got a mildly reduced ejection fraction or preserved ejection fraction. Um, this can be maybe reflected by the age in those with a uh, um, mild reduced or preserved ejection fraction. The patient population um, is much older than just introduced in the Asian countries is uh, 73. And uh, for those with reduced uh, ejection fraction, patient, the mean age is 66. Um, so for those without uh, LVEF, the age is uh, is uh, is older. Uh, for those without BNP measurement, is age is also older. So that's uh, reflect uh, um, a possible um, unequality that the elder population did not get um, quick measurement of the biomarkers or uh, or test. Oh, that's another quality gap. Uh, and uh, in, in our population, we also say uh, for those with um, preserved or mildly reduced uh, heart failure, um, half of them are females. And um, for those with uh, reduced uh, heart failure, uh, is uh, two, just um, a little bit more than um, uh, two, one, one third uh, uh, female population. And for the comorbidity, we can say around the, um, 30 to 20, 24 or 30 patients uh, with a history of myocardial infarction, PCR or cabbage, which we call it established coronary heart disease. And we also got a um, quite high proportion of patients, 6.3% got a, um, aortic or mitral stenosis, uh, which happened more uh, more, more more frequently in those with half half puff patients, and um, <clears throat> uh, in China the um, diabetes mellitus is no no as severe as India. We we got uh, one fourth of them, or uh, twenty percent of them, got uh, diabetes um, got got diabetes, but uh, um, around uh, half of them got uh, hypertension, um, and. Um, Especially those with heart puff, we can say uh, uh, around forty percent of them them have um, um, atrial fibrillation, uh, and uh, and uh, uh, stroke is uh, is much much higher in China, especially in rural China, uh, is always be a, a very 
very uh, big problem. And we can say for those with high failure, um, 30% to uh, 80%, around 80% patients with a history of stroke. Oh, this is uh, um, much unique in China, I think. Um, one possible reason is we do not, we used to do not have a, um, have a high anticoagulation proportion in atrial fibrillation patients. Another uh, possibility is uh, we, um, we do not have blood pressure well controlled. <laughs> Um, this, this, there are other uh, treatment of the uh, patients received in hospital. Uh, as, as previously reported, we got uh, quite a low um, usage of AC inhibitor, uh, ARB, and ANI. And there's no difference uh, between half rough and half half. Uh, <coughs> but we have a, a quite high pre uh, usage of. Uh, um, aldosterone antagonist, uh, um, yeah, and um, for for maybe in in the um, in the doctors uh, in in rural level uh, hospital, people think um, uh, MRA is a, a diuretic instead of a, a, a RAS antagonist. And uh, we are also very commonly use uh, digoxin, and uh, for even for those. Uh, with uh, half half, uh, but uh, we we have no idea whether those patients got atrial fibrillation uh, or not, or whether digoxin is used for rate control. Uh, so yeah, that's the GDMT treatment, and this uh, is in line with the previous uh, other report uh, we call China PACE. Uh, they report a similar uh, low use of. Uh, uh, of GDMP therapy, uh, only half ACEIA ARB and uh, beta blocker less than half, and um, yeah, MRA, uh, the, the, the proportion is uh, 64%. Um, yeah, we, we, we uh, discussed a lot why patients with admitted with heart failure and discharged without diuretics and the uh, we, we we talked about it a lot, and uh, the conclusion is uh, maybe one important reason is patient think uh, doctors think um, MRA is a kind of diuretics, so um, that's similar. Um, for the uh, long term follow up, we we know we needed to up titration up titrate the uh, um, GDMT drug dosage, uh, but we can say at twelve months. Um, half of them did not use, and for those uh, use GDMT therapy, uh, only very small proportion uh, use them with uh, less than fifty percent dosage, and even less uh, patient of uh, uh, use uh, fifty to hundred percent of the target dosage. Um, yeah, that's uh, we we all know the dosage and the uh, patient's prognosis is uh, uh, close related. Um, from previous report, and um, this is, they suggest uh, um, a, a big uh, gap and a missed opportunity for us to improve the quality of care, uh, uh, to improve the, the outcome of, of the high failure patients. Um, we, we also talked of multi mortality mobility and uh, um, for those patients, uh, in in hero study, we observed uh, um, depression is a, a very common problem, and uh, for uh, those with uh, depression, we can say more than ten percent. Uh, here is a uh, uh, the the to no depression and uh, with depression, we can say uh, uh, maybe fifty percent of patients with a uh, with a uh, comorbidity of depression, and those patients got a very uh, um, uh, much higher, uh, ma much worse prognosis than those without depression. After adjusting um, possible comorbid co uh, covariant, we found um, depression is uh, associated with more than two uh, times higher. Uh, mortal all cause mortality and uh, one point eight hair um, times hair uh, composite and the point uh, including um, death and uh, heart failure hospitalization. Uh, 
And um, anemia is also uh, a, a, a quite common problem. Uh, in our registry, we found uh, um, 22 patient, 22% of patients with moderate to severe uh, anemia defined as a hemoglobin level less than one, um, 110 grams per liter. And uh, uh, another 26% of patients got uh, mild anemia, and in total, uh, we uh, got almost half patients with uh, with um, some degree of anemia, and um, uh, we also observe anemia uh, truly uh, impact the patient's outcome uh, with uh, most severely uh, um, anemia uh, with high, highest mortality rate and. Uh, uh, both all cause and uh, cardiovascular mortality, and we need uh, we, we, actually the iron implementation in our practice is you now so common, and uh, we uh, we uh, always talk of of GDMT, but uh, uh, those mm, mm, intervention intervention of the comorbidities like anemia, depression is also important. Uh, so in in our center we are uh, kicking we are kicking off a, a, a randomized trial to intervene the depression using uh, cognitive behavior therapy to improve uh, the um, uh, uh, the depression status of those patients. Um, yeah, that's miserable um, patients group. Oh, that's I think that's what we learned from the hero study, and now we. Uh, also wish we can learn a lot from you in the future. Thank you.